Hester here, and I'm here. I'm here with Peggy and with Sterling, and Finn is in the background. So we decided to do a live tonight after the session. We didn't do a video before the session, but um, so Peggy's going to share about um, about Sterling's lesson tonight. So um, yeah, go ahead. yeah, yeah. Well, about a month ago, Sterling had an extreme lameness episode um, where the vet explained he had pulled his calf muscle, which was resulting in him hopping around on three legs. After the extreme part of the lameness <laughs> moved on, he started moving in a, a fashion which horse people will know is called paddling in front, where he's really crossing his front legs as he moved. And he was moving in that way to try and relieve pressure off of his hind end and to move in a way where he wouldn't be in pain. Um, so what we did today was to try and help him find a new motor plan <laughs> where he'll walk in a more comfortable fashion, which um, resulted in him moving with looser muscles and not so tight all through the body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so um, sometimes it's when you're on video and you've got horses in the video and you go you're and you don't have the same angle from beginning to end it can it can be really challenging but in this case like <laughs> you yeah. back him up. Uh, like uh, Peggy was saying before where um, Sterling was having this tendency with his front legs to really paddle wide so we know that his uh, his abductor muscles were contracted and there was some compensation so um, do you want to talk a little bit about the lesson itself, what the lesson was like? Yeah, and, and well, what and you saw with Sterling? yeah, definitely. So since the voluminous episode happened, he's been very anxious and tight all over. His muscles are very tight. In fact, his um, pectoral muscles here in the front he's were, a he's a little sore there, um, and they were like rocks. They were so tight from the way he was holding himself. And after the end of the lesson, and Gloria walked him off so I could watch him move. He was no longer paddling. He was walking with feet forward. Yeah, very straight. <laughs> very straight. And, um, and his whole body seemed to be moving more fluid. Mm -hmm. And he went from being very anxious and uptight with his head up in the air and back tight at the beginning of the lesson to head low and relaxed with lots of yawns and licking and chewing because he was finally relaxed. And... I told Gloria that's the first time I've seen him fully relaxed in, in at least a month. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's rewarding to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's one thing about working with horses this way is that we're we're watching for Sterling's feedback. So we're working with some very precise principles, but we also one of those principles is that we see what is the horse receptive to and what's working for the horse in any given moment. So um, it's not manipulation for the horse's body in any way. In this case, Sterling. It's not manipulation for Sterling. It's actually helping Sterling, Sterling's brain release any muscles that need to be released so that he doesn't need to paddle anymore. So um, if any of us as vertebrate animals have pain in our bodies, it, we lose the ability to remember how to move in a way that's easeful and functional. So. Really what we're doing is, is we're helping Sterling find a good motor plan so that he can move easily and functionally and so that Peggy can help facilitate Sterling in that process as he goes along and learn how to recognize what works for Sterling. <laughs> yes. So we might have a little bit of space if we want to let Sterling, have Sterling walk toward the camera. Yeah. You might be able to see with his front legs now where, uh, where he is now compared to, I know we didn't get to see before. sure why he's not happy the session today. No, <laughs> he's not sure about He's a that. little jealous, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, now Sterling has what we call more of a new normal. Mm -hmm. And some horses and some people, some animals, they need 
more reminders than others. So, you know, we'll have follow up to see how how Sterling is, um, what he's maintained from his session, and <laughs> what kind of reminders that he needs. And Sterling is thirty years old, mm -hmm. so he is an old man, even though he <laughs> he's does very not, young. He's very young at heart. Yeah. And so we want to keep him moving that way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And not holding on to all these old habits he's picked up, like with the paddling, mm -hmm. which he's picked up for a good reason, because mm -hmm. he was trying to be out of pain. Exactly. Um, and so even humans do that. So we compensate by walking a certain way, say if our hip or our back hurts, mm -hmm. then horses do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so by showing them these new motor plans, yeah. he can be more comfortable and hopefully live longer and be yeah. happier during that time. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. And I would say too, really helping uh, Sterling remember how to self-correct mm -hmm. too is a big, mm -hmm. big thing. So it's um, some of the motor plans for us could be new, and then others it's like we just we want to remember what those were, those functional plans yeah. before. So but yeah, we had um, I would say like a really great session with Sterling today, just mm -hmm. as far as being able to just have a quiet space and work and enjoy the yeah. uh, seeing Sterling's responses. And, so it was just a really good session, I think, for everybody involved. Yes. And, yeah. Yes. Ben was nice and quiet for us. And Ben wasn't <laughs> <laughs> distract Sterling like how Sterling distracts Ben when we work with him. That's so true. <laughs> he likes being the center of attention. Yes. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah. yeah. But it was. It was a great, a great lesson with him. And, and I can't wait to see what he's going to look like in another day or two as he continues to process what he felt today. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Was there anything that you were surprised about from today or that you... I was surprised at how relaxed he got because he's been very agitated, kind of like he is right now, because yeah. um, he wants to go out with Ben, because um, he wants to be with his buddy. I can so you can talk. Oh, I got him. He's okay. okay. He's okay. Um, he's, he would just get very agitated when I would try to work with him myself, and, and he really was able to relax into the movements today and not be so concerned about everything else going on around him. That was my one concern going into it, was would we really be able to work with him? And, and he really did relax into the work and I think once he started to realize we were helping him, he was more willing to relax into it. Right. And like, oh, this yes. is not going yes. to be uncomfortable. Right, right. Yeah. Because he's retired and he pretty much does what he wants now. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so I'm glad he was able to really get the full benefit of the session. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Me too. But we have used all of his patience for today. Yes, yes. I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So for those of you who have joined for this Facebook Live, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for letting me share part of my world, <laughs> part of Peggy's world. Yes. And, and yeah, and, and my horse's journeys together. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. Because it yeah. started off with a journey for Finn, and, and yes. Sterling has you know jumped in the path too. So mm -hmm. it's been great. And for me, so yeah. it's been great because we've been able to work some on the human side of things, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> not just on the horse side, so that's been great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's been really, really wonderful, so mm -hmm. yeah. thank you for sharing. Thank, thank you, you. Yes. Yeah. yes, and we're going to go inside and get warm. Yes, yep, <laughs> and for any of those of you, for those of you who are watching, um, if you see this video and you want to know more about this work or about um, how Sterling is doing with his mm -hmm. process, if you want to, yeah, do that, um, just a uh, private message or uh, leave a comment and so I'd love to talk with you about your beloved family members too human or four-legged <laughs> <So>, <laughs> but thank you again so yes. much for sharing thank, thank you. you you guys stay warm and um, I'll, we'll see you all soon thank you for joining